Hey guys, myself here from Stratagenesis, and uh, today I'm bringing you a Skid Row, a Team Deathmatch Skid Row, and uh, I'm going to be using a RPD Bling, uh, Bling Pro, with a grip and a silencer. Uh, believe it or not, that's actually quite beastly. Um, it has a hundred rounds in a clip, or in a whatever you call that thing. In, in the feed, I guess, and it's got another 100 rounds that you can reload to. So you really got two full full clips, let's just call them clips. You got two full clips, um, 200 rounds that you can use, um, and generally the problem with Bling Pro is that you run out of ammo on the gun that you've blinged, which, you know, it makes Bling a completely useless perk. Um, some ways to counteract that are to have kill streaks that make more sense with the, uh, you know, with the perks that you're using, for example, both sleight of hand and uh, bling uh, are great perks, you know, depending on, on when you use them, and if you're playing a team deathmatch type game where you're likely to run out of ammo, uh, it's generally wise to have um, a care package as a kill streak, because that allows you to most of the time get resupplies, which is what I get, I get resupplies all the damn time. It's really annoying, but, um, you know, when you don't have scavenger on, getting all that ammo for a gun that you're comfortable with can make a lot of difference. So anyway, you've seen me get some weird kills here. It's probably because I'm sound whoring, um, and right now this guy just shows up on radar. If you see him, still see him there. Uh, he's just sitting there, so he's probably an experienced player. Yeah, he's level 4. Um, so he's probably not doing too much. That claymore you saw at the beginning just got me a kill, got me my uh, my predator missile right there, and uh, it's really effective. Um, it really works. So go ahead and use it. Whatever helps to to get you guys better better scores. But yeah, I'm just running around here with the RPD, uh, killing some people, and. Uh, not really sure why that guy missed me all those times. <laughs> I got shotgunned right as I got my Harrier. Lucky me. Uh, that's another really uh, great Claymore position right there. But uh, back to the Harrier thing. I can't tell you how many times I've been at six kills and something absolutely ridiculous happens, you know? Like, I'm just walking by. Hey, look, a, a Claymore just got a kill. I'm just walking by and I get blown up by a C4, not a C4, <laughs> that'd be a little too much, but uh, um, our teammate helps us out there. But yeah, no, back to, wow, I'm like, my mind's are scattered all over the place, blah, I'm like losing my freaking train of thought here, what's going on, man, what's going on, man, <laughs> alright, uh, yeah, I mean, just keep running around, kind of really patrolling one side of the map. Um, I know it's been mentioned, especially for free-for-alls, um, it's a really effective tactic um, to not really move too much around the map, but stay in, in a general vicinity. Um, and it, it's really nice sometimes because people that you kill keep trying to come back to kill you, and uh, I guess you can kind of aggravate them. It's a mean tactic, but it works, you know. And sometimes you have to do it. There's just some weapons that that you really shouldn't be messing around with. The RPD is really just way too slow um, to be rushing people, and I'm, I'm sure you're gonna say, oh, you know, I've rushed with the RPD before, but it, it's really not a rush kind of gun. Um, it has a really slow aim down sight without sleight of hand, um, and uh, it's really best just for, for like a sit back kind of gun. Um, it, that's really what it excels at. So right there I got a Predator missile, and I am a sound horn, so every time I look down there, it's because I think I hear something, or I'm expecting someone to come out. But see, I, I hear someone right there. Pretty much, I pretty much pre-fired him right there because I heard him. So that's the uh, the power of Sit Rep Pro right there, at at work. Can give you really, really great. Um, positioning on people even if they have ninja because you can still hear them so it's really good I, I don't think I've but let's just say I've been snuck up very few times by ninja people 
um, ev ever since I unlocked Sitrep Pro, it's been my staple perk 3 slot for a long time now. There's another guy down there, and our teammate just took him out in second chance. Look at that. I'd revive him, but I, I can't. So yeah, as you can see, I just pretty much got the uh, this gun here, the silencer for it anyway, and I got noob tube. The guy that I knifed at the doorway, noob tube me. Ain't that nice? Ah, eh, whatever. It's justice, I guess. He got his payback on me. But uh, so we're just gonna keep running back to that little doorway that we were just at where we died. And uh, probably finish the game. I'm not going to spoil anything. Oh, double kill as the kill cam. The end game kill cam. Actually, I think I got robbed of this end game kill cam. Yeah, I did. The guy, uh, I think the guy left. And that's generally what causes that to happen. But, um,. I ended up going 27 and 2, not too shabby of a score with a you know slow gun, but it is kind of a a, a hangback kind of gun. That's what I describe it as. That's really what you should be using it as anyway. Hopefully you know that that helped out some of you guys and uh, you know provided some level of entertainment from Stratagenesis. This is myself, and I'm out.